A few things, I, and I'll agree with you that the majority of the media, whatever bucket you want to include everyone in, the majority of the media do not conduct themselves like Stephen A. Smith or Skip Bayless or Nick Wright or, you know, those of that ilk. Um, but they are the loudest voices, and those are the voices that you hear every day. And that loud voice drives not only the masses of sports fans, but it also impacts the way that journalists. But, but, but I, I will preface it. I, I will stop you real quick to say this is. Um, but this is. You, you mentioned that other news outlet. They report their misinformation as fact. Yes. Where I think Wright and Smith that they're, they're just talking sports and giving their opinion. But they present them as though they're facts. So and it, that's like telling um, – honestly, Stephen A. Smith has the same power over the masses that Tucker Carlson has over the right. We, we, they'll, they'll say all the time Tucker Carlson's not a real journalist. Tucker, he's not really a mm. member of the media. He's not that – but he still has the same Steve, power. Stephen A. doesn't conjure over racism, lives. though. I, What's I, that? I said Stephen A. doesn't conjure racism. I'm not saying – no, I'm not talking about the topic. I'm talking yeah, about right, the level right, of influence. Right, but, well, it's an I'll accept, I'll, for sake of discussion, I will accept your 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 comparison, right? Mm -hmm. If the if the if the if the talk if the argument is these people are on TV every day, therefore they have a lot of power, therefore their their opinions carry weight. Yes, I will come back to you again. With who? <laughs> With who? With do they the carry this weight? World. With the entire sports world. Okay, but that's but Ethan, I would disagree with you. It's not the entire sports world because the entire sports world includes team owners, team general managers, head coaches, players. And nobody's gotten more bad criticism of late than Kyrie. Let's use Kyrie as an example. Okay. Kyrie just opted in for $37 million. And guess what? When he's a free agent next year, somebody else is going to give him a big contract. Might be yeah. Brooklyn, it might not be, but somebody going to give Kyrie some more paper to play. But you don't think the narrative that has been repeated by those of Stephen A. Smith and of uh, uh, you know and those of that ilk has has hurt the entire image of Kyrie? I mean, going going back, going from this past year, we'll take we'll take what why he was sitting out during the pandemic and he didn't want to take the vaccine. He was uncomfortable with the vaccine, which a large portion of the country was uncomfortable with it. You know, I had a different conclusion than he had, but I respect his conclusion. Everybody was okay with it until he started missing games. And then I was like, wait a minute now. We can't, we can't miss. And then you had Stephen A. Smith. Oh, he doesn't want to play. Oh, he doesn't want. And then that control that started swaying a narrative where the entire pendulum okay. started to. Do you, like, do you believe, Etan, that, that if we, if we accept your, if we say, if I say, I agree with you about that. That that was Stephen A.'s opinion or whoever's opinion on, on Kyrie Irving. Mm -hmm. Do you think nobody on the Brooklyn Nets had the same opinion? <laughs> I mean, come on. Do you think nobody, oh, on, the Brooklyn, we're talking. nobody on the Brooklyn Nets was like, "Hey, I'd love Kyrie to play, but I I understand, I respect his wishes to not play." But even nobody, but us. nobody was on the Brooklyn Nets was carrying the narrative publicly that he was abandoning his team. Okay, but I so so, why, so once so once you once you have a Stephen A. Smith that says that repeatedly, then you have journalists who start repeating what Stephen A. Smith said in their articles. Okay, then you have a whole a, a whole yeah. narrative that permeates throughout the country. I, I would I would humbly submit to you that there were a lot of people within the Brooklyn Nets organization that had the exact same opinion. Oh, I'm not like talking Kyrie about that. I'm saying about down, that, Kyrie, that they needed Kyrie to win. They're trying to win championships. Of course. And, Okay, but that's my point. So they didn't want to say it publicly, but that doesn't mean they didn't have the opinion. I mean, the the inference is that only journalists, only reporters had this opinion. No, a lot of people had this opinion. No, they said it. That doesn't mean that other people didn't agree with them or didn't think didn't have the same opinion. I, I think you're just I think, I think power even they was though. just probably loudest with it. Was that? I said a lot of people had the same opinion. I just think Stephen A. was just loudest with his. Definitely. Okay, so so, but, but, so what's so again? If ever if lots of people had the same opinion, some well, you're you're, you're 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 still you're still discounting the power of the pen, the power of whether it's the pen or the microphone that 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 Stephen A. Smith and those have. <laughs> there is power in it. So when you repeat something over and over again, there is power in it. Okay, it there's it, it's power like, in it. What okay. the I'm I'm saying the impact of the power. I believe I think is 
far less, especially when you're talking about, and look, and look we all love sports. We all make our living in sports, okay? Yeah. All of us love writing, talking, thinking about sports. We're all fans of sports, but it's not the same, I don't believe, as the power of, say, the political media, <laughs> you know, the power of the political press to kind of shape agendas where legacy media like the New York Times has an, has an outsized influence on the way the rest of the, the political press covers things because people still read the New York Times every day. That's way different than I would suggest any talking head on, a, on one of the debate shows. Do they have influence? Yes. Do they have some ephemeral type of power and influence over a certain segment of the population? I would agree. I would just again say, what is the impact of that power on a player? I would suggest, I would say the impact is, does it help shape perception of a player? Yes, it does. I would agree with you. It does help shape perception of a player. And you don't think the perception of a player has anything to any impact on a, on a GM, a president, or a team? That's I what you're saying. I would ask you if you if you are talking, who has the worst reputation in pro basketball right now? I mean, I'm, I don't have an answer. I'm asking you. Who do you think has, based on the media's quote unquote? Um, shaping of their perception who has the worst reputation in the nba right now um, is yeah. it, i mean is it kyrie or maybe it's kyrie i will just sake of argument i'm not saying it is or isn't let's just say sake of argument kyrie irving because people have been killing him for the vaccine and for a lot of other things has the worst reputation in the nba okay. he's going to be a free agent next year i defy you to tell me he's not going to get paid next year be regardless of this perception of him out there. If you're telling me Kyrie Irving's going to have to take the minimum next year to play in the NBA, I would say you are you are incorrect. I'll but you, but dollars but right now, he will not be playing for the minimum next year. And He's fair enough, but, but if you're telling me that he, if he was an unrestricted free agent this year and the narrative that has been created around him wouldn't have impacted what team signed him yeah, for, I, I would respectively yeah. disagree. He I would disagree. Anyway. He could play. Listen, listen, like Steve Smith has been talent saying wins out, you know this talent wins out, man. Listen, no, he's he always he's wins. Drumming, listen, he's been drumming, only sign him for a year. Don't sign him for so you're so you're gonna tell me that if he was an unrestricted free agent, after hearing that constantly from people like Stephen A. Smith, that teams would not be a little bit more hesitant to sign him for a long term deal than they would for a year, which Stephen A. Smith has been bringing. That's I, what I you're don't telling me would have no impact. Okay, at yeah. some point, Eton. I'll at some point, the player has to have some responsibility. For I agree. I'm not, I'm, I'm, what we're talking about we're, so what we're talking about with the case of Kyrie is the vaccine, and that that's what. That's what yeah, we're I mean it's a, it's it's the vaccine, but it's also and look, I'm not I'm not questioning his right motivation or his reasoning. He took off games last the year before. He just took games off. Now maybe he needed to. I'm not I'm not saying he was wrong to do it. But I'm saying he took he just in the middle of the season said I need to take a few games off. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but there is impact with that, Etan. There's impact when but, the but guys you make do, But you understand the, the double-edged sword that we're, we're talking about when you have an a NBA who is embracing mental health on certain yes, aspects. I'm not saying it's wrong to do that. No, but, but, this, but this is what I'm saying. It, you, there's a narrative that's created. If the narrative created was, 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 in, was that um, a champion for mental health and, it, and that whole narrative was pushed that way, the entire perception would have been completely different of the games that he took off because he said I he needed a break. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie the whole thing would have been completely would different. That clicks both ways, though. When he said Kyrie what? Said, when Kyrie said, I don't think we should go to the bubble, right. I think a lot of people but what? A lot of people applauded him for that. He told of course. Well, 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 said, hey, at least this guy, this guy's thinking about something other than basketball. I gave him credit for that. And he's he's not he's saying we don't we should use this platform that we have in the wake of George Floyd. Maybe we should do right. it for something else besides playing games. Now I don't think I'm not saying everybody agree with that, but a lot of people in the media, as you put it, said, you know what? At least he's thinking about something other than basketball for a second. Good but also, him. a lot of people in the media called him names like dumb. It's the dumbest thing they ever heard. That's the stupidest thing they've ever heard. But this is this is this is the players 
problem with a lot when they say the new media, old media, is mm -hmm. the certain language that is used in order to critique someone. So